Mom diagnosed with COVID-19 while pregnant spent 41 days in intensive care at tri Good Samaritan Hospital. And tonight she and her husband are speaking to Local 12's Liz Bonus to thank her care team and help others learn more about a healthy delivery. Yeah. Little baby Lath is now nearly two months old and doing well. His mom, Alicia Cappers, left Ohio's Good Samaritan Hospital a few weeks ago after spending 41 days in intensive care and delivering Lath after a diagnosis of COVID-19. You know, he was with her in the ICU for a week. They were in, you know, she was still pregnant with him when she was admitted for a week. And, and him being, uh, being patient with her and, and staying put really uh, did both of them wonders. According to Alicia's maternal fetal medicine team, complications that she developed due to the virus in pregnancy are rare. Right now, the best data that we have looking at large-ish groups of women suggest that the rate of miscarriage, the rate of stillbirth, uh, the rate of transmission vertically to the fetus is actually very low and that it's really unlikely that a woman infected with COVID-19 is going to pass it on to her fetus. And it's also fairly unlikely that a woman is going to become critically ill in comparison to non-pregnant women. The National Institutes of Health, however, has just launched a new larger trial now to find out more. Researchers are analyzing the medical records of more than 21,000 women to evaluate if delivery changes implemented in this pandemic led to complications or the need for cesarean delivery. They also are looking at the risk of infection from mother to baby and what happens to babies as a result right after birth. In addition, babies born such as Lace to moms diagnosed with the virus will be monitored for six weeks after birth. As for women considering not delivering in a hospital due to COVID-19 concerns now, here's what we know so far. We don't know how many patients are walking around asymptomatic at any one time. And so just because they're delivering at home, it doesn't mean the people that are coming in for that birth to experience that joy are possibly not also passing the virus to them. Alicia says she needed so much high-tech care to survive with this virus. Had I not gone to the hospital, I don't think I'd be here today. Little baby Lath, she fears, might not either. His parents say now he shows no signs of complications from the virus. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus reporting.